if you got a plaid over a Bugatti Veyron, and if you're balling out of control, you would have saved $2,380,000, and you'd still be faster than this. Hey, boys and girls, AK here. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know if you know, but uh, Tesla just released the new Model S and Model X. It's the first redesign and refresh for these two models, so let's take a look. All right, here we are with the Model X, 2.5 seconds to 60. I believe this is the plaid model. Yeah, it says right here, plaid model. Doesn't look much different. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more uh, different changes. Um, looks like it's just this part right here. The grill is the, the one that's really been changed. It's been updated. I think it looks more manly. It, it looks more conventional too. Okay, here's the last Model X. So that's the old grill that they had. And that's the one that they changed. Looks a lot more complicated. The new one looks a lot more sleek and racy with this lip right here. It's definitely sportier. I like it a lot. Um, to tell you the truth, the Model X has been the least attractive of all Teslas for me because especially in the white, brings to mind Humpty Dumpty. It's like a Humpty Dumpty car to me. But I mean, with these specs, like 340 miles range, 2.5 seconds to 60 miles an hour. I mean, this might just be super cool. Okay, so this is the new interior. Wow, look at that, you guys. I always felt that the Model S and Model X interior, uh, the previous models, didn't really match the price that they commanded. This interior looks way more in touch with its price than the old Model X for sure. And uh, look at this screen right here. The new center screen, they say it's 17 inches and um, look what they have on the screen. It's games. Witcher is a game. And apparently this uh, new Tesla has a gaming system in it that has up to 10 teraflops of power. And that means that it's just as powerful as a PS5. That is pretty damn amazing, you guys. I don't know what to say. That's pretty damn awesome. Leads me to my next point is why would Tesla put a gaming system this powerful in the car? Maybe leads to the reason why this steering wheel isn't a wheel. They call this a yoke. And this is what they use on airplanes. Maybe because Tesla is banking on the fact that these cars will be driving themselves most of the time. And the only time you'll really grab the wheel is and take it and really drive it for yourself would be when you're actually trying to have fun driving. So that's my opinion and on why they're using a yoke instead of a steering wheel. In my opinion, super cool. I've never seen that before in a car and it's awesome. I, I can't. I'm gonna save up all my money so that I can become a baller and drive a car without a steering wheel, just the yoke. That's so awesome. The other thing I notice here is there's no levers, there's no stocks, anything. Um, the Model Y that we have, there's no controls except for the stocks. They got rid of the stocks here too. Looks like there's, um, there's some capacitive touch buttons on the yoke, but that's about it. There's no gear stock over here anymore. So yeah, very interesting, Tesla, very interesting. I wonder how you'll be getting into gear using these uh, buttons here, it looks like. Um, looks like this is um, signal buttons, and this could be the uh, transmission right here, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see. There is also another screen in the back seat. Wireless gaming, up to 10 teraflops of processing power, enables in-car gaming on par with today's newest consoles. Wireless controller capability lets you game from any seat. That's awesome. <laughs> this car is gonna be amazing. Like You're gonna uh, have to pry your kids from this car. <sighs> Stay connected, multi-device, Bluetooth, wireless, and USB-C charging for every passenger with enough power to fast charge your tablets and laptop. 22 speakers, 960 watt audio system. The audio system in the Model Y is so clean. It really rocks. I can't, I'm gonna make a Tesla Model Y um, sound system video soon so you guys can have some sort of idea but it's just 
It's so clean the way the sound system was designed. There's barely any distortion. There's no rattling of any kind. Like they really tuned that um, uh, sound system really well. So this one has 22 speakers, 960 watts. That's nuts. That's a lot of speakers and that's a lot of power. This is gonna be a rolling concert hall. Seriously, 960 watts, that's a serious amount of power. So this is the, the chassis. So the batteries are integrated in the chassis. That should provide you with an even lower center of gravity. It should provide for even better handling. Look at this, the long range. Dual mod motor, all wheel drive platform has the longest range and now delivers incredible power and acceleration. 670 horsepower, you guys. 670. What ice cars give you 670 horsepower right now? Let's see. Okay, so I found a car. Look at this, you guys. 2021 Camaro ZL1. This car is fast as hell. I don't know if you know, but this car is crazy, ridiculously fast. Your Tesla has more power than that ZL1. Up to about till last year, like if you said ZL1 to me, I'd be like, yeah, that's so crazy amount of power. But now it's just like, what? This mom car has more power? The mom car has more power. Crazy, this plaid. Tri motor all wheel drive platform with torque vectoring features three independent motors, each with a carbon fiber sleeved rotor that maintains peak power output all the way to top speed. Jeez, 2.5 seconds to 60, you guys. Um, this is a mom car with seven seats for the kids. All right, utility, 91 cubic feet of storage. That's not bad, you guys. What are the competitors? I would say would be the Escalade. The Escalade gets you 109 cubic feet. That's not much more separating. Uh, and the Escalade is huge. The Navigator, according to US News, and it's 120 cubic feet. 91 is still gonna get you a lot of space. It's not gonna be as much as a uh, Navigator. 30 cubic feet less, but it's close. It's pretty close. Holy crap, you guys. Model X has more storage capacity than a Land Cruiser. What? I guess so. And it can tow 5,000 pounds. You know what? Even if it is a Humpty Dumpty mobile, I mean, it's still a badass Humpty Dumpty mobile. You can't deny that. Okay, here's the rear exterior styling. Oh yeah, there is, there are new wheels. There you go. There are new wheels. Refined exterior styling, I can't really tell. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you see any differences with the, uh, the sides and the back of the Model X. I don't. With the lowest drag coefficient of any SUV, Model X is built for speed and range. Refined aerodynamic elements work together with new wheels and tires to help you travel farther with sharper handling and better ride comfort. Optimized aerodynamics. We got a rear diffuser here. One of the things I really like about Tesla is that they don't have much options. They made the car out of the box super awesome, so you don't have to do much to it to make it really the way you want it to um, but the one thing one, one thing that I would recommend that you would get uh, to really get the full Tesla experience is the autopilot or self full self-driving option that they have right now they're charging around ten thousand dollars for this feature it doesn't drive itself yet but it does have some some features that are available now. The full self-driving aspect of it will be available sometime this year, according to Elon Musk. So one of the features that you can use right now with the full self-driving is the navigate on autopilot. And this lets the car drive itself on the freeway, getting on and off on ramps and off ramps. So this is full self-driving pretty much on freeways, not on side streets. But on freeways, this is full self-driving. It can navigate you to and from different freeways. And you also get auto lane change. When autopilot is on, you just have to uh, click your blinker and the car will change lanes automatically. And you get summon, the car goes to you from where it's parked. And you have auto park, which parallel parks for you automatically. So those are the features with the full self-driving option right now. It doesn't drive itself on the side street yet, but it does drive itself on the freeway. 
So if I was a baller out of control right now and I had a sizable family, buy it, put a bow on it and give it to my wife. This is the long range dual motor, pretty much the base model for the Model X. And we're looking at 360 miles, 155 top speed, 3.8 seconds, zero to six. That's crazy from a mom SUV. I don't know if you know what that means, but let's take a look at 060times.com for some context. Four second cars, 3.8 seconds, so it should be four second cars. This mom SUV right here is faster than this NSX to 60. Can you believe that? That's ridiculous to me, that's nuts. I can't believe that. Wrap your hand around that, guys. It's faster than this 4C track edition. Oh, well, guess what? Huh? You can get a 4C for uh, 18,000 now. What? These just depreciate like a rock. Faster than uh, most Aston's ever made. Look at that. What's this 2017 Vantage GT8? Oh, that is a sweet ass car. See this mom SUV? It's faster than this Aston. This mom car is gonna smoke this car. And this is the base one. This is the base one we're talking about here. 2015, 2017, 2020 BMWs. It's faster than the new BMWs. Oh wow, it's faster than the 840i Grand Coupe. That's the Grand Coupe right there. And I'd have to admit, look, look at that you guys. That is just bad ass. That is a badass car. But imagine feeling like a badass and then smoked by this mom SUV oh man that would suck all right let's take a look at the model X plaid edition it's 120,000 pretty much and look at this you guys 2.5 seconds to 60 163 top speed I don't know if you guys know but uh, let's put that into uh, context real quick I'm gonna be picking on uh, NSX's a lot, but uh, it's on the top of the list, you guys. 3.0 seconds. Mom car, 2.5 seconds. How much is the NSX? Let's see the purchase price. 157,500. That's 37,500. That's like a whole new car. That's like a Model 3, you guys. You could buy a Model X Plaid Edition and a Model 3 for the price of this one NSX. And guess what? The mom car is faster. Look at this, you guys. R8 V10. Ask any car dude and say R8 V10 to them. They're going to tell you that this is a fast and serious sports car. I, they wouldn't even call it a sports car. They call it a supercar. A serious ass supercar. And this guy's charging 131,000 for uh, his 4,300 mile one. Uh, slower than the mom SUV. Oh, you guys, this is even funnier right here. Check this out. This is the uh, Viper ACR. When this came out, it was pretty much a race car for the street. It was just trouncing everything on the racetrack. This is like, it is pretty much a race car that you could buy. Looks mean, looks super fast. Guess what? Slower, slower than the mom car. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this is hurting my brain. It's hurting my brain, you guys. Look at this Enzo. Yo, this is faster. Yo, this ain't even funny anymore, yo. This ain't funny. This is the new, the newest Lambo, the Hurricane. And it's the 580 rear wheel drive version. And guess what? Mom car is faster. All right, let's take a look at the Model S. Here's the new guy. Again, very minimal changes. I like it a lot. I like that Tesla is going the Porsche route of not uh, changing the exterior design too much. The 911 came out in 1964. Did you know that? 1964. And that's uh, 58 years already. The shape is still pretty much the same. You know, it's just been tweaked. But the overall silhouette is retained. Throughout the whole life of this car, you know that shape. And I'm glad that Tesla is going the same route and only tweaking minor things as they go along. All new interior looks the same as the, the Model X, except for the, the roof doesn't go all the way. And the glass roof doesn't go all the way to the windshield. It's not one piece, there is a divider. So it's gonna be like Model Y. So again, we're gonna have the gaming system with the two screens. 
Also has the 22, 900, 22 speaker, 960 watt audio system. One good thing about the Model S is it's actually a hatchback. I don't know if you know this, but the Model S is a hatchback, which makes it that much more useful in real life. Plaid, beyond ludicrous. 1020 horsepower, 9.23 seconds for a quarter mile that's less than 10 seconds, 1.99 seconds to 60. With the longest range and quickest acceleration of any vehicle, of any electric vehicle in production, Model S Plaid is the highest performing sedan ever built. The base model, long range edition, is faster than a 2017 Carrera 4S. It is also faster than a uh, Panamera Turbo. I wonder what price is the Panamera Turbo. Let's take a look. 153,000. Long range, 80,000. So, 153,000 minus 80,000. Your Tesla Model S will be faster than a Porsche Panamera Turbo and you will have $73,000 in change to spend on other things. So let's say you were uh, balling even more out of control and you decided to go with the Plaid. All right, so with the Plaid, it's 120,000, 200 mile an hour top speed, 390 miles range, 1.99 to 60. If any of y'all are actually car dudes or car gals, you would know that the Ariel Atom is one of the craziest cars out there. Look at this thing. It's pretty much like a hollow bathtub with an engine in it. So it's like weighs nothing pretty much. So it's one of the fastest cars you could possibly get. It doesn't even have a windshield. Look at that. And this car is almost a second slower than the Plaid. That's just mind blowing to me. Here is the total death nail for uh, internal combustion engines right here. We're at the B section, you guys. You know what car company starts with the letter B? It's Bugatti. Look at this, you guys. This is a Bugatti Veyron. I know a dude that named his son Veyron. It's one of the most awesome vehicles ever made. 2.4 seconds. When that came out, 2.4 seconds, I can't even think about how quick that is. It's slower than the Tesla Plaid. Let's see how much the purchase price of this Veyron is right now. V Bugatti Veyron, 16.4 grand sport. Base price is $2.5 million. And it is 0.5 seconds slower to 16 than the Plaid. So let's do a little math here. $2.5 million. That's 25,000, that's 250,000, that's 2.5 million. Minus 119990. If you got a plaid over a Bugatti Veyron and if you're balling out of control, you would save $2,380,000 and you'd still be faster than this. What is this, you guys? This is the new one, you guys. This is the new, new one. Let me tell you again, this is the Chiron. This is the new, new Bugatti. 2.3 seconds to 60. I bet they were so stoked when they got that number because it's faster than uh, by 0.1 of a second than the old car. 0.4 seconds slower than the Plaid. Let's check out the Plaid Plus. All right, so Plaid Plus is 140K. Um, you get less than 1.99 seconds to 60 and more range. There it is, the new Tesla cars. Pretty insane, and that's their competition. If you're balling out of control, uh, put on the comments if you would get any of the other cars that I mentioned, or you'd get the Tesla. Or also put in the comments if you'd rather get the S or the X, and uh, let me know why. I'm interested to see why, why people would choose X over an S or the other way around. Thanks for tuning in, and I um, just want to let you all know that um, there's a thin line between being a gentleman and a jabroni. Don't be a jabroni. Peace.